afternoon world today is august 30th pardon the outfit it's hot outside it's nearing 95 degrees and today's one of those off days where i do a lot of administrative work and i'm um, at the post office i had to buy 40 stamps check those out elephants so if you get one you know where it came from um what i do around this time of the year and also around the beginning of spring is i do calendars check out calendars giants jets my name my contact little note in the back and what i do is make like 200 of them then i mail them out the thing is i ran out of stamps so i have to put like that why i do this is because i have i've made a lot of friends in my life in the neighborhoods and even though they have no interest of selling right now or know of anyone interested in selling right now i still like to remind them like hey like don't forget about me but also if you're a jets and giants fan or a mets and yankees fan check out some games it's just a, a nice old school fashioned way to stay in touch also what's great is i literally wrap it up I buy the stickers, I buy the envelopes. A lot of real estate agents, they don't do that. What they do is they just make it a straight flyer and mail it to you. So when you get it out of the mail, you're like, the hell is this? I don't care about a real estate agent. At least for me, they'll probably take it home, go in the car, wherever they be, and they actually open it. Now, what they do with that afterwards is on them, but I hope that they uh, put it in their office or give it to someone because it's like a cool portable business card a little graphic so if you're a real estate agent and you're trying to come up and you've got like a hundred bucks to spend i highly recommend trying to do things like this i don't recommend blowing up a whole neighborhood for it because that's just crazy but i do send this to about 40 to 60 of the neighbors that i contact on annually three to four times a year and the rest of them what i do is i go to businesses that i engage with and I drop them off. You know, I go to a vitamin shop, go to my gym, and I leave some there as well because people who see me work out there will also want to take them home with them, especially the younger kids. They didn't bring them home to their parents. So there's all a thought process behind this, and you wish for the best. So as always, fingers crossed. If I get one deal or one client out of this, it pays for all of this processing four times over. So you just got to wish for the best in real estate. This is the part that they don't show you on TV shows. Because everybody that's on a TV show got an assistant that does this for them. But I do it so you know it's coming directly from my hands, like my hard work. So anyway, wish me luck. I'm about to mail these out. And then we'll take it from there. Later. So check it out. At the post office, good old America. Well done. You. Today is September 23rd. It is three o'clock in the afternoon and I decided to come to Diker Heights Park while school, well, school's getting out, crazy. Poor decision making there. But anyway, I have a surprise. That's right, Diker Heights is officially sold. We close in two weeks. Uh, there's no turning back now for anybody. So what's great is I'm gonna pass by the house, change the sign, update it, bother some neighbors start doing my little dance and uh we're gonna go from there but what i want you to do is enjoy the rest of the film that i had for the last couple weeks and uh this may be the last episode or second to last episode for the season i'm gonna take about a month off and then go right back on the grind and create content for season two so stay tuned later man Several days later. <laughs> Yo, today is October 1st and it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I am catching me some parking. Where else but Dyker Heights? Yes. Today, 
I will be taking down the for sale sign because today's Saturday. Then on Monday, we have the final walkthrough with the new buyers. Then on Tuesday, we close. So I figured I could do it on Monday. Just rather get it out of the way and put it in my garage. And I had free time today. So I figured, why not do it today? Right? Cheers. Also, being that today is a Saturday, the neighbor is home. So, putting on gloves, by the way. I will be talking to him because he was actually really interested in what the house sold for and what the conditions of the house were when I sold it because he is considering to put his house for sale as well. So hopefully, if he does, I become his agent. Me. But rumor has it, someone in his family might be a real estate agent. So we will see. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's no biggie. But as long as I build rapport and relationship, everybody in the neighborhood seen what I do. So uh, actions always speak louder than words. And I'm all about actions, actionables. So moral of the story is today is Saturday, the 1st of October, 3 o'clock. Then I remove my sale sign. Then on Monday, I do a final walkthrough with the buyers and their agent because this is a code broke. And um, Tuesday, we close. And this chapter is actually done of this transaction. So we'll see where it goes from there later. October 3rd, it's a quarter of 1 p.m. on this rainy, rainy afternoon, kind of cold. It's uh, one of the first days of fall that you feel the weather. You gotta wear a hoodie out, it's dreary. We're getting to the edge of Hurricane Ian, I believe is the name, We're hitting New York City or the metro area. So we got a lot going on up here. But uh, today, I'm headed to the gym. So that means tomorrow is the close. So Dyker Heights, the second property I was selling this year that you saw, at least, um, I closed them all officially, which is awesome, great. So what do I usually do? Like I said, I get my head right and I uh, unwind the tag. Pretty excited because today actually is the final walkthrough with the buyers and that shouldn't be a problem because I have already been there two days ago removing my for sale sign. So I know the house is in good condition. They actually cut the, the shrubs in the front, which was nice of them, the current owners. And if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm driving, I'm taking my pre-workout. But what can I tell you? It's been a whole, almost a whole year. Gone through almost 10 episodes. I think this is number nine. And you got to see a little bit of what a real everyday, middle-class New York City American goes through real estate and snapshots, these 10 minutes, 20 minute snapshots. Um, what I'm gonna probably do starting a new season is I have a few surprises for myself at least that uh, I look forward to sharing in the second season of this and we'll see how far we can go. Um, one of the main reasons I even started vlogging for real estate was because I believe that if I can create content, that means I was busy. So if I was busy, I can create content. So I had to push myself 
to be busy. <laughs> and you know, one of the biggest obstacles in real estate is when you get that nice check every so often, you tend to get lazy because you want to spend it. The idea is you got to hit while the iron's hot. And momentum is so important in real estate. And if you're not moving with your momentum, you're going to lose it. It's just like that, you know. So we will see. I'm expanding my horizons. I am thinking differently. I'm still being creative and uh, still working out. But that's what I have for you right now. We close tomorrow. You'll see a little bit of that, of course. And then on to the next one. On to the next season. On to the next episode. On to the next client that I'm going to show. On to the next. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow at the close. Stay tuned for everything else. Later. A few moments later. Ooh. All right, guys. It is about 4.30 in the afternoon. And... It is ugly out there. It's a little cold. One of the first true days of fall, winter. Um, I'm in the Decker Heights house. It's empty, as you can see. We got a five o'clock final walkthrough with the buyers. The house is basically empty aside for major appliances. That closet was full with my stuff. So I got rid of it. But um, this is real estate. This is the stuff you don't see, you know. People got to show up till the very end. And then tomorrow we close at 3 p.m. That rhymes. But yeah, we're here. I'm a little bummy out wearing my lucky shirt that you see me. But hey, man, if you remember this area here, this area behind me, we had furniture here during the open house. All gone. Where it went, I don't know. But wish me good luck. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the open house. And then on to a new season. So see you later. Peace. afternoon as you can see it's been raining all day still got little remnants of hurricane ian around here but how do i look closing time i went with some earth tone colors i'm actually going to be heading to brooklyn bensonhurst area for this lovely close <laughs> See that gum? I've been chewing it for like two hours. Got no flavor on it. Secured the funds, got my drink. Now I gotta go overnight to check. And hopefully in the next 48 hours I get paid. So that's kind of how it works from there. Um, it's on to the next mission. And season two, hopefully. So, well, no, it will happen. So welcome to uh, 18th Avenue Brooklyn, baby. Later.